about the usual ghost stories you tell around the fireplace or at sleepover parties just for fun or the heck of it? Urban legends are pretty much those ghost stories that you tell everyone. And according to Urban Dictionary, they urban legends are basically stories that have no real origin but only have very, very little truth to it. An example of an urban legend that I found over the internet is creepypasta. And it spans over conspiracies, mysterious noises in woods, or a random person that somehow had a bad twist of fate. Like Slenderman is an entity that lives in the forest and kills anyone who enters the forest and collects his pages. Smiledog.jpg is a photograph of a dog that smiles and it is said that if anyone looks at this photograph they will go insane and die to, to a mysterious dog bite on their neck. A famous one that I've seen a lot has been Jeff the Killer who was said to be a normal boy that got doused in gasoline and then burned alive. And it resulted in him going insane, which seared off his eye eyelids, and he cut a smile into his cheeks so that he remained smiling for eternity. The reason people make these scary urban legend stories is either to scare their friends or family to like annoy their little sister into figuring out that there might be some actually in their closet or under their bed waiting for them. Other people enjoy having horror tales like they just read a lot of Stephen King or they just enjoy a good horror slash mystery suspenseful thing. A lot of other people just have a morbid sense of entertainment. There are few and far between, but I happen to know a few. <laughs> and the popularity of these stories over the internet have grown so much that Google Play has their own app for people to go to read such creepypasta stories, which is either a good thing or a bad thing, I have yet to decide. And it has grown so much that many people have also made their own versions of the stories, like Jeff the Killer vs. Slenderman on creepypasta.com, or they would have a different twist or a different point of view from other stories that they've read previously. A lot of people, like around Halloween or at conventions of sorts, would also dress up like these strange characters. Many of them would either paint their faces or get full body suits from head to toe of one color. And they usually just a lot of times scare people which is the goal of the story in general. And it's either for entertainment of the speaker or the listeners. It doesn't really matter. As long as everyone has either a scare or a good time, it's all up to the audience and speaker in general. And if you have any curiosity to go and look up these stories, just know that you may not be able to go to sleep that night. And thank you for your time.